Hi, this is Gary Fong, and this video I'm going to show you how to do your very first sample photo, your before and after comparison with a light sphere and without. So, the first picture I'm going to do right here is uh, I'll just do direct flash, and we'll do direct we'll do direct flash just as you normally would. So the camera will be on regular ETTL, and I'm just going to have it on program mode. So, I'm on you from the monitor. So, good. Okay, and good. Okay, so this is direct flash, and you can basically see what it looks like in the background. V very, very harsh shadow, and it has that car in the headlights look. So, now we're going to do the light sphere collapsible. And to mount it, basically, I'm just going to take it and put it on any flat surface, make it flat, put it, wedge it on at a 45 degree angle like that, and furl it straight up. So. And, of course, we have the head perpendicular with a button in the back because I'm going to shoot a vertical photo. Now, just like on your instructions, it'll tell you, put your ISO on 800 on the instruction card. It'll say put your ISO on 800 for indoors. And then the, the dome, uh, I'm sorry, the light sphere is straight up without a dome because, as you can see here, not only do we have a high ceiling, it's a black ceiling. So oftentimes the question is, is, How's the light going to look if you're in a really high ceiling or in a black ceiling? And this is going to be the answer to that question. If we had a white ceiling, then there'd actually be more fill uh, on Emily's shoulders because she's actually wearing a dark, dark top. But this will still be very equally pretty. So all I'm going to do is, just like on the instructions, set the camera to TTL. I'm going to put it on ISO 800, program mode, and um, that's basically it. So let's do that shot. And... Perfect. Nice. And you can see, not only is the flesh tones much, much warmer and a lot prettier, but you'll see that that back shadow has pretty much gone away, which is really a nice feature of the uh, light sphere collapsible. In fact, it looks very much like available light, which is one of the features I think is best with it. Okay? So, uh, here's a comparison of the before. You can see the blown out flesh tones, and then the after with um, the light sphere collapsible. 